Hey everybody, Keith Wilson at the Trombone Shop at Schmidt Music back with another daily practice tip for you. And today I want to talk a little bit about slide technique and valve technique. Whether we're playing a trombone with a slide or whether we're playing a valved instrument, we need to work on continually developing and refining how we move our slide or how we move our valves. With the idea being that we want to make this process, this movement, as easy as quick quick, as clean, as smooth as possible, because that means that our music making is going to be cleaner, quicker, smoother. We're going to have more control. We're going to have more success in creating our music. So there are a few ideas I think about when I'm playing either trombone or I'm playing euphonium and other valved instruments. With trombone, the thumb and first couple of fingers can play a huge role in that slide technique. So for there are any number of different variations, but usually I see something like this. We've got the thumb on one side of the slide brace, and we've got a couple of fingers on the other side here. This relationship of the thumb and fingers is really important because that means whether we're pushing the slide outward, whether we're pulling it in, we have a lot of control over that. I also think about my elbow and my wrist here. When I'm playing, I tend to keep my wrist fairly straight. There are some other playing ideas. Some folks use a very loose wrist and that works for them. For me, I like to keep my wrist more in place. So keep it in kind of an even you know, movement there. And I'm really doing a lot of movement with the elbow. We think of the elbow as being kind of really a slow joint, not being able to move that quick. That's really not true. We can get from here, just as quick as we can do anything else. Now, of course, we know that a couple of the positions can be really problematic for us, especially sixth position, seventh position. So now not everybody may be as tall as I am, so how do we navigate that? So a couple ideas I always think about. First off, as we're getting out towards sixth position, down towards the end there, I'm trying to think about kind of stretching my wrist a little bit, keeping everything in place, and then maybe rotating the shoulder forward a little bit. When I go to seventh position, even more so there. And for some folks who maybe don't have as long of a reach, sometimes getting a little bit more on the fingertips here as well, but still keep, keeping active control of the slide is really helpful. And the biggest thing I always recommend is trying to keep everything as tension free as possible. If our wrist or our forearm or our our elbow or our upper arm here, if anything starts to get tense and tight, all that tension means is it's going to be harder to move. We're not going to be able to move as cleanly, as quickly, as smoothly, and that's just going to cause other issues. When it comes to our valved instruments, now of course we don't have the same type of range of movement we have to worry about here, but we can certainly work on our speed and our interaction with the valves here. So when I'm playing first off, I like to keep my fingers just a little bit curved. And again, there are different philosophies about that. I find for me in keeping things curved just a little bit, I have a little bit better tactile response with the top of the valve. I feel like I have a little bit more control over pushing the valve down. The other big thing we wanna think about with our valve technique right away is as much as possible keeping our fingers on top of the valve so that when we release it, we don't let the finger fly up here. If the fingers are hanging up on top of the valves, when it's time to depress it, it means that we have to go not only this far to press the valve down, but we actually have to go an extra distance to get to the top of the valve cap in the first place here. So keeping everything in place and working through and trying to keep everything in contact there and then working on that speed and the same kind of thing, making sure that we're not getting tense and tight, trying to keep everything very, very free to move. Now, there are some ideas to think about. What are the best ways to practice these? You know, scales. Scales are awesome for thinking about our slide technique because hopefully they're familiar for us. And I really recommend taking it slow and just thinking about how am I holding my slide? How am I moving my slide? How am I positioning my fingers on the valves? How am I pressing down, activating the valves? So if you get a chance today, think a little bit about your slide technique. Think a little bit about your valve technique. How is that working for you? Can I improve that? Maybe there's a few ideas in here that help. So as always, thanks for checking out our daily practice tip. Keep an eye out for more of them. Thanks for all of the hard work you're doing out there and keep up the music making.